Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to write text on your screen in Monogame using a sprite font. So, first of all we need to have a sprite font. And Monogame haven't supported the content pipeline yet, so you're not able to make a sprite font inside Monogame at this point. So, the first thing you need to do is to open uh, XNA Game Studio. And if you don't have XNA Game Studio, I'll provide you with a sprite font. But I just want to show you how to do this from the bottom. So, first thing we do is to open XNA Game Studio. Call it something. So, when you have this XNA Game Studio, you'll get a content, <coughs> content project. And this project uh, enables you to add the sprite front and everything that has something to do with the content in XNA. So if I um, right click on this and press add a new item and then I select the category visual C sharp then I I'm able to pick all these different um, content files. So I want a sprite front so in this case I just picked the sprite front and this is the type of file we'll be using when we have to draw something on the screen. So I call it my font and add. So now I have added my sprite font to the um, to my solution explorer. And that's basically all I need to do in inside XNA Game Studio. If we look here we can see all the properties of, of this sprite font we have out here. Um, this is the name of the font uh, you can change this to anything you want. If you change it to Calibri, like this, then we change the font um, we want to write on the screen. This is the size of the font. This is the spacing between the letters, and down here is like the style of the font. We can change it to bold, for example. So now we have set up everything with the font and we can basically save this and <clears throat> now that we have saved this we can start to put it into monogame the first thing we need to do is to change this sprite font file we have in here in our game content this font this sprite font file is a yeah it's a type of sprite font and we need to change it this to an X and B file instead. And to do that we can use this XNA 4.0 content compiler and it's found at XNA content compiler that codeplex.com. And yeah, you just need to download that and run that project. Um when you run that project it will look like this. You have some different options here this content compiler can like compile these content files into X and B files that you're able to use in Monogame and here is like the type of file you want to compile in our situation we want to compile the fund and here I just need to navigate to the fund we just made so on my desktop in test game test game content is my sprite fund file so I add that file by pressing add and then I basically just compile it. So what I do is I navigate to my desktop, press OK, and then I press compile. Files compiled. OK. Now I can close this down. And this. So as you can see now, I have on my desktop this my font file. And this file is an XNB file. And this is the file I can use in Monogame to write something on the screen. Um, if you don't have XNA Game Studio, as I said earlier, I will be providing you with a link to um, the sprite font file that you can edit yourself and then you can use the XNA content compiler to change it into this type of file. Okay. <clears throat> what else? So now we need to write something on the screen in a Monogame. So if we open a new Visual Studio project and select a monogame open GL file. Um, 
um, yeah, then we need to write something using that sprite um, sprite xnb file we just made. So the first thing we need to do is to add it to the project. So I right click on my content folder and press add and add existing item. I navigate to my desktop and select all files. And here I have my sprite, my font. So now I have <coughs> my font xnb file in my content and I need to remember to change this to copy always so that I can use it in my project. First thing we need is to make a sprite font. So I write sprite font here, my font, and we need to write our font somewhere. I'm gonna zoom in a little so you can see what I'm writing. We need to write our font somewhere on the screen, so we need a vector to my position. <clears throat> so now we need to load this file from our Solution Explorer in, in like inside our content folder into our font sprite font. So what we do is we go to load content and we say my font uh, equals content that load um, sprite font here. And then we just give it the string, and it's called my fund. So what we did now is to load the my fund XMP file into my fund variable we have here, our sprite fund. And we also need to set this position. So down here, we just say my position is like new vector two. 100, 100. So now we will use like 100 pixels in the X and 100 pixels in Y to draw our font. Okay, what we need to do now is to draw it on the screen. So we need to go to our draw function here and say it's right batch that begin. Because when we start to draw something on the screen, we always need to put it in between a block of begin and end. So on the other side we write sprite batch that end and in between this um, block of begin and end we can draw our sprites and we can draw our sprite font. So we say sprite batch dot uh, draw string and the first parameter is our sprite font. So my font and our text is Hello world. Oh. world, and our position is my position, and we want the color to be color dot red, for example. So if I run our project now, we should be able to write, like, see the writing on the screen. And as you can see, we used a sprite front to write something on the screen in Monogame.